Good day folks, Boda Bob here. Hey, it's a bright sunny day and uh, having a hard time seeing the screen, but we'll see if that's the biggest problem I have today, then we'll be all right. So my wood, I'm standing in the middle of where my wood pile used to be. Well, part of my wood pile. You see, I use um, plastic pallets that are used for carrying things like uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh, drinking water, bottles of water. Um, the pallets are designed for heavy loads. So I think they're perfect for stacking my wood on it. And the thing I really like is they don't rot. So I paid $5 a piece for these plastic pallets that are no longer serviceable for the job they were intended, but they work perfectly fine for a wood pile here at Boda Bob's. So, with that being said, I this uh, last row I have three rows of pilot, uh, excuse me, three rows of pallets that's 30, approximately 35 feet in length, four foot high, and I use uh, three rows one winter, three rows the next winter. So, but I was short a few pallets, and the other day I had the opportunity to get some more pallets and so I wanted to fill in I was missing one pallet in this last row of pallets which you know consists of two rows of firewood 32 inches wide so I want to move this last T post here yeah I think you can see that so that's our job today so what I'm going to do I've already got it rigged but I have a chain connected to the heavy hitch and then it's wrapped around the T-post and then the other side's hooked on the heavy hitch. So, you know, it's a long chain. I didn't want to take the time to uh, show you all that because it's just wrapping the chain around the post. Anybody can do it. So now I'm going to demonstrate the first one I pulled out, I pulled three out already. The first one I pulled out, um, it took a lot to take it out. It had, it was everything that the tractor had to pull it out. Not sure why, maybe it, um, maybe I pounded it through a post. It is bent a little bit. I also tried pulling them out with the loader with the BX and the loader just did not have the strength to pull the first one out. It might've been able to do the second or no, the following three but um i don't know because i just i've used the three-point hitch before to pull things out of the ground and um another youtube channel that i like to watch um biff's equipment uh he was demonstrating the loader i'm going to demonstrate how i do it with the three-point hitch uh with my heavy hitch connected so without further ado I'm going to go around, start my tractor, and uh, see what we can do here.
All right. So what I did, I moved this over here into the shade so that me and my camera don't melt. I've been having issues with it overheating and disconnecting. First, it'll shut down the Wi-Fi on it, which I use the Wi-Fi to connect to my camera, or I'm sorry, the Wi-Fi connects to my phone and that way I can see if I'm in frame. Uh, sometimes I remember to look at it and keep myself in frame and other times I just, you know, move around and it cuts me out of frame. So anyhow, back to what we're doing. So I pulled this uh, T-post out. The, uh, let's show you what I got over here. It's a long chain. What I did, I wrapped it around here and kind of hooked it into there. And then I hooked the other hooked up here. That's it. You can see the T-post is fairly straight. Since I drove it in straight, it came out straight. So using the three-point hitch to pull T-posts or uh, small saplings, it can work if the uh, has enough lifting capability and the ground's right. Um, you can use your three-point hitch to pull things out of the ground. I wouldn't go try pulling a great big stump out with it but I have pulled smaller uh, sapling, you know, one, two, three year old saplings out of the ground with my three point hitch. And so, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you today. This is Bo to Bob. We're gonna wrap this thing up. All you professionals out there, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, and share it with a friend. Thank you very much. Until next time, cheers.